Hello. This is a uh, rendition of Mars. I am uh, taking along uh, a fictional science team and you can tag along with me. And now armed with some uh, fresh tea, I'm ready to delve deeper into the caves. Yo buggers keep reproducing here. I'm gonna move on. Attention! We are approaching the rift by Dr. Ranga. Scans can And there was supposed to be there was supposed to be a message from the computer bugger, but it already uh, it already uh, played. The trouble was that uh, the game uh, just sort of jumped to the desktop again. I have no idea why it does that. I don't know how to stop that, but apparently each time it does that, uh, the uh, recording is disrupted. So yeah, some some information or some moments may get lost in the way. Let's see. I wonder, is there a way to... Okay, this is my research. But... Aha, uh -huh, map game research. Objective. So yeah, if there is a way to repeat the message is displayed and I don't know how. Oh well. on the ground, on the Mars, uh, body of water, on the ground, hey, yeah. Uh, I remember, yeah, there was some... Megazoa. Yes, that is true, Art. <laughs> Congratulations! I have correctly predicted your behavior. <laughs> yes. So, are these Megazoa? Yes, they are a species of Megazoa related to Hydronzoa. We will call them Hydron Maxis. <laughs> this species does not generate liquid water, but transports it using capillary action. So all of the water flowing out of these plants comes from somewhere else? Yes! It is drawn up through the stems of the Megazoa from an unknown source below! Whee. 
<laughs> yeah, the thing with uh, these thingies is that the seeds float. Seeds or pods or whatever. Search Megazoa. What about this one? Oh, okay, so there are more. will <coughs> self-destruct uh, after some time and also you can only move them by bouncing around thingy.
choices about what to plant. Uh-huh. There we go. Alert! I have discovered the <laughs> camera module dispossessed by Octo! It is as I suspected. The camera is pointing at fossilized life forms. And what are these markings? Markings were created by the digging tool of Octo. <laughs> Octo removed a sample from this exact location. It appears to have been a large sample. How many objects of this approximate size could he carry? 3.71941468. Then he must have thought it quite important. If I find a similar sample, perhaps I will learn why. So this is again one thing that I have already tried, so I, I know where to where to look or more specifically I know what I what I have to find but I, I can't remember where I had to look. It was on this side but where exactly Okay we already have Oh shit acid No 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 do not want to go here uh, to find some shit and, and, and. Just pick up some compost. It's groovy. That's that's just what I need. Let's see. No. Hey Leon, is that you? Boy have I got news. Come out to the edge of the cliff where the reception is better. Okay. Oh, 
like that edge enough. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, look who's still alive. Amani, <laughs> it is good to make contact with you. You've descended 297 meters deeper into the cave. Keep it up, and you'll be safe and sound in no time. It will be a relief to join you at base camp. So, you're never gonna believe this? I discovered a signal coming out of the cave. You... a what? It was always there, actually. I thought it was high-frequency noise, until I picked out some repeating patterns. How... what kind of signal is it? That part is really cool. It's similar to what Zoe emit. One signal band effectively spreads the spectrum of another, like a carrier for frequency hop. I misspoke. I meant to ask, what is emitting the signal? I don't know. Something in that cave is sending a message, over and over. You speculate that it is a message. It could be a natural phenomenon. It probably is. Well, don't you just know everything? <laughs> How about I put the source of the naturally occurring signal phenomenon on your map, in case you get curious? Yes, you are correct. That would be best. Thank you, Amani. Okay, but I don't yet want to... ...want to go to the signal. I have some work to do in this cave. This uh, opening was the easier one, the primary one, and uh, the other uh, more difficult opening is what leads to the optional stuff. Oh, give me water. Sure. Diversity. I know that these. Uh... Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh 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 oh. No 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 no. <sighs> so yeah, I, I know that. Uh... Directed. Uh, these ones aren't supposed to be increasing the biomass or anything, but...
Yep. I am going to get me some compost. to be eaten. Oh, shit. It's to get them uh, to be eaten by those uh, by this thingy. And uh, and waited when they do get eaten. That thingy uh, checks uh, well compost. Okay, that's cool. Uh, did we have the... 
bugger buggers here. Life forms at this location have a 47.562% likelihood of being similar to a sample removed by Octo. <laughs> Some of these fossils appear to be the ancestors of the life forms in this cave. Others appear aquatic in origin. Yes! Evidence indicates these life forms evolved in an extremely very enormous <laughs> body of cold saline water. Amani and I speculated that Mars once had oceans teeming with life. One day, these fossils may help confirm that hypothesis. Yay! Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, there must be an opening up there. Okay, but now... Again, to keep shit diverse. Let's plant one of these babies. And then... I want to fertilize uh, that one some for some more. Fertilize further. That is the plan, yes. I don't know what 
to suspect. Let's play ball. sort of limit and uh, the little buggers are no longer really too sick. So let me collect some of the green seeds and try to proceed. Thank you. 